This video will be about creating visualizations with the show me button in Tableau, like the map I have here in the view that can be created in under one minute. So let's jump right into the content. The show me button on the top right hand corner of the screen here is a very powerful functionality in Tableau that allows you to create any one of these visualizations very easily. At the bottom of the pane here, you can see exactly what is required for each visualization. And for example, if we hover above horizontal bars, we can see that we need zero or more dimensions or one or more measure. And to create any type of visualization, all you have to do is select the fields that you want to work with in your data. So let's just say we want to see the sum of sales for each subcategory. So we selected both of them in the data. And when we look back at our show me pane, we can see that some visualizations are now no longer grayed out. So we can click onto them to create that visualization. And the visualization with a red border is the recommended visualization from the data you selected. So let's just take a look. We can click on any one of these and we can create a visualization. The one thing to note is that the creative visualization might not be exactly how you envision your visualization to be. So you'll need to play around with it to get the result you want, like maybe changing the axes. So have the subcategories on the X axis and the sales in the Y axis, or sorting it by descending order or ascending order with these buttons, or even adding filters to remove certain things from your view. If we wanted to label this chart and make it easier to read for it, each individual bar, we can add labels by dragging the field to the marks pane here and put it in the label. And now we can see that above each bar, there's the sum of sales for each subcategory. Since we know that sales is always going to be a currency, we can change the default format of the field by going into the default properties of the field here, and then the number format and changing it to a currency. So every time we drag it into the view, it will be shown as a currency. Since I want to keep this video as more of a general overview of the show me functionality, I won't go through every single visualization in the pane here, but you can easily create any one of these visualizations by following what is required at the bottom of the pane here. However, I will show you how to create maps because maps are a very powerful visualization and it's really easy to make in Tableau. So let's go to the map worksheet here. And then when we hover above maps, we can see we need one geographic dimension, zero or more dimensions and zero or one measure. And we can tell that a field is a geographic field by looking at the icons next to each field. And if it's a globe, then that means it's a geographic field. And if you know that your underlying data is supposed to be location data, you can also right click on that. So here for postal code, it's currently not a globe, but we know that postal code is a location data. So we can change that by going to the geographic role here and then selecting one of the geographic roles provided. So we know that it's a postal code. So when we select postal code, it turns into a globe and we can use it in a map. So let's create a map with region and the sum of sales to see what I mean. So once we select a globe, we can see that the option to create a map is now available for us. So let's create this map and you can see Tableau automatically generates the longitude and latitude for us so that the map can be created. And to make this more visually clear, we can add labels to each one of these regions to see exactly on the map which region it is by dragging the region to the label here. And now we have the west, central, south, and east. We can do the same for the sum of sales so we can see it right on the map. So for the west region, this was the sum of sales. Central region, this was the sum of sales. And the good thing about this is you can always expand on the region to have the view of every state and province now with the individual sum of sales. The one thing to note is that sometimes there may be unknown values for geographic locations. So you can always edit the location so that Tableau recognizes which location it is. So here it seems like all of these are Canadian provinces and what's happening is they're not recognized in the United States. So what we can do is we can have the country region from a specific field. So now we can see that 
it automatically populates because in Canada, there's an Alberta. So when we click OK here, we can see that the map has updated with the Canadian provinces. This concludes the video on the show me functionality, and I hope this video was useful for you. If you enjoyed this video and want to be updated every time I post a new video, I would love for you to subscribe to me. I post a new video every Thursday.